Well, <coughs> that that uh, it really involves my entire speech. Uh, see, uh, what is the exciting <laughs> things about Nuremberg? <laughs> okay. uh, that that's that's that was the role. See you of, tomorrow night. Uh, that was the role that I played in Nuremberg, not not Henry's role. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's okay. necessarily appropriate. Right. Okay. Well, All right. I'll, I'll, I'll answer that. Yeah. Uh, the exciting things at Nuremberg were, uh, first place, getting there and seeing the whole city obliterated. And it, it gave me a sense of conviction that you can't have this happen again. I mean, I walk into all those ruins every day. I got up early as I do today. And I got the first. I was first in for breakfast at the Grand Hotel. Walked to the courthouse and walking through those streets and seeing people in rags and no food and everything. And uh, this beautiful city uh, with the destruction that had been wrought. I, I I got a sense of conviction and it's never left me. That's that's uh, very important. Uh, another thing was that. Uh, was very interesting at uh, age 26 or 27, being able to interview Herman Goering or uh, Albert Speer uh, sitting across the table. Speer was far more the interesting one because uh, he allowed, he explored ideas with you. Goering talked to you, he was a great raconteur, but uh, he didn't admit anything he didn't want, and I gave him a big affidavit on Milch to say that Milch did a lot of bad things. He went through the affidavit like a cyclone and uh, gave it back to me, and he gave the paper clip, and he said, here, Kearney, I give you this paper clip. Uh, they think I might do something with myself, with it. Uh, so the other thing was going into a courtroom, not the main, uh, not on the first trial, the second period, and uh, appearing in the in the trials on the Jagerstab case. Uh, that was a big day for me. Uh, the important thing I came away with is we can't let this happen again. And uh, so I devoted my life to hopefully not letting it happen again. It's a pretty heady experience for a person at that age. And uh, so uh, I also uh, was a great friend of the press over there because uh, we own some part of some newspapers in Connecticut and uh, I, uh, I had press releases sent on myself over there back to home just to build my home constituency. <laughs> uh, <so laughs> well, uh, and uh, can you imagine uh, writing the closing brief on a Milch case, uh, closing statement for Milch, and uh, being able to roam at will through the realms of history as you wrote the statement, it was a joy. I drove the secretaries crazy because uh, Virginia Sheridan said, well, you know, you go 20, 24 hours straight, I can't take this anymore. But it was the conviction that kept me going, and uh, it was a pretty exciting period. We have a little committee here for uh, uh, the former Nuremberg prosecutors for an uh, international criminal court. And uh, Henry and I are very uh, supportive of the international criminal court. Henry and I were NGO delegates uh, of this committee that I organized at, uh, at Rome. And uh, we thoroughly support the concept of a permanent international criminal court, and I'm, and I'm very convinced that uh, if Justice Robert F. Jackson were alive today, we would have a, a firm uh, a spokesman in our corner, uh, somebody that was really persuasive, that really would help us. Uh, we're, we're not that important. We're just little, little people in this world. Uh, but uh, the, uh, I admire Henry. I've always, ad uh, always admired him. He's a man of uh, complete integrity, uh, absolute integrity, and uh, he stands for what's right in the world. And uh, uh, I think we're 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 uh, uh, intimate in this in this uh, degree of, uh, of friendship. And uh, Whitney, you're an inspiration to all of us. I think uh, 
I like that letter to the president. I, it couldn't have been better. And uh, it's, you know, we have the, what, what tantalizing is we have a better world within our grasp, but we have to reach for it. And some people who haven't experienced the horrors of war and all that don't want to go there. And, uh, but we're going to get there. I'll say that emphatically, we're going to get there. But uh, that's the bond that holds us together, is uh, the fact that uh, there is a better world out there, and we can make it happen. Yeah, and the other right. thing is our personal friendship. Right. Let's get a picture right. of this. Right. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Okay. Right. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. Thank that, you very that's much. awesome. Yeah. That's very, very good. <laughs> Well, it made a lot, made, made a lot out of nothing, but I was right. <laughs> <laughs>